Hi there, this is a special preview of an episode that you can only find on patreon.com slash Elwood City Limits. Take a listen, and if you like what you hear, consider supporting us for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate you listening no matter what, but if you want to hear all kinds of extra content, then patreon.com slash Elwood City Limits is the only place to hear that. Until then, here's a little preview of what that extra content sounds like. Uh, so they see the snow. This is Corduroy's first time seeing snow. For some reason, he can feel it, even though he's a bear, not worth getting into. Uh, and Lisa wonders what it would be like if snow didn't fall from the sky, but if ice cream did. And mm-hmm. I was and like, I, oh. and- to that, Lisa, I say that would be an infrastructure, a public infrastructure nightmare. Um, <laughs> we would have clogged gutters. We would have, you know, storm drains are, are, are meant to be able to deal with snow. I don't know if they're able to deal with, you know, th- these are full ice cream cones. I assume like some sort of waffle clone or something. I, I just think it would wreak havoc on a city if that was to happen. Oh, well, way to bring down my good time. I was like, yeah. Oh, like, I guess that's <laughs> what's my inner fat kid of just like, yeah, <laughs> ice, ice cream from the sky would be awesome. Yeah, I, like, I would like you to picture um, driving on the freeway and then ice cream starts dropping on your windshield. <laughs> that would you know, be not awesome. <laughs> you know what? And fair point. And a lot of ice cream is dairy based. So probably the smell wouldn't be terrific mm, either. So, mm, OK. Mm. All right. Sometime. All right. So, okay. Okay. All right. (laughs) No ice cream from the sky. Um, So Corduroy, it's worth mentioning here. This uh, Lisa really wants to go get ice cream. This, which is like, okay, some people are like that. Not, not, not what I would go for, but whatever. Well, and and when she says this, I realized I'd seen this episode. Like the idea of wanting ice cream in the winter stood out as so odd to me, even as a child that I had a recollection of a TV show where someone was like asking for ice cream in the winter time and it being, and I didn't put two and two together that it was Corduroy. Like if I had to think back, this might be the only episode of Corduroy I really remember. So what a coincidence. That's the one that we ended up watching today. Interesting. Okay. Um, what, what I also wanted to note here is that we kind of get the rules of how this works. So Corduroy, when he's around Lisa is alive and can talk and can seemingly feel to everyone else, everyone else believes he is a stuffed bear. Now, there's no, we don't know exactly why he's keeping it a secret, but you know, it's just kind of like, eh, just just go with it at this point. This is where I can't, we get... I can't wait to read the like uh, creepy pasta, friggin' annoying <laughs> internet theory where it's like Lisa's got schizophrenia and it's actually she's crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the internet in 2006, everybody. We thought that was like the best thing since sliced bread. Just pretending all of your all of your favorite cartoon characters have mental illnesses. <laughs> Disgusting. Um, this is where we find out that this is where we get Lisa's mother speaking with a bit of a, a bit of a patois, a bit of a J- yeah. Jamaican accent. Um, kind of, kind of a light one. It's, and I, and I will say that the woman playing Lisa's mother is played by a person of color. So it's not, they didn't get a white person to do that. So it's not, it's not Chet Hanks. No, <laughs> it certainly is not. Uh, so that's where we kind of get a little bit of a, of a hint into her background. Okay, that'll do it for now, but we'll see you next time on Elwood City Limits or over on patreon.com slash Elwood City Limits. Have a great week.